In the last two lectures, you learned how to use the Bluetooth module HC06 with your Arduino. And in each case, we connected it to the Arduino's hardware serial port, which is implemented on pins 0 and 1. The problem with this is that pins 0 and 1 I are also shared with the USB interface on the Arduino. So each time we had to upload a new sketch, we had to unplug the USB cable from the Arduino so that it doesn't conflict with the Bluetooth module. What I'll show you in this lecture is how we can move the Bluetooth module to any two of the other digital pins on the Arduino and use an alternative to the hardware serial port, which is a software serial port. It's essentially converting any two of the Arduino's other digital pins into another UART port, to another serial port. And therefore, by doing that, there is no conflict with the hardware serial interface that the USB port is using. So I'm going to unplug the battery and put it aside. I'm not going to use it for this demonstration. And I'm going to unplug the Bluetooth module from pins 0 and 1. And instead, I'm going to connect them, I'm just checking on my sketch to see where I've implemented the software serial interface. And you can see here that it's implemented on pins 10 and 11. And you can choose whichever ones you like, whichever pins happen to be available in your circuit. But in this case, we've got pin 10, which is the receive, and pin 11, which is the transmit. So I'm going to rewire the Bluetooth module so that the receive pin, which is the red one, will go to the new transmit pin, which according to my sketch is 11. So that's going to go into 11. And then the orange wire, which is connected to the transmit pin on the module, that will go to digital pin 10 on the Arduino. I'm going to put the 11 back in. There you go. Done. So with this rewiring, pins 0 and 1 are no longer occupied, so there is no conflict between the Bluetooth module and my USB interface. So I can just plug in my USB cable and it all works. I'm going to go ahead and upload the sketch at this point, just to make sure that we've got that capability back. Ah, sorry, I need to select the USB serial port for the USB, which it was already set to the Bluetooth module and then upload again. There you go, all done. I bring up the serial monitor. And you can see that we've got readings and we've got a hello world via the USB interface. We're not connected to the Bluetooth yet. So let's do that now. I'm going to go to my Bluetooth preferences. Here's my HC06. I will remove it. Wait for my computer to find it again so that I can connect to it. There it is. Connect. options and put in the code. And we are connected. All right, so we now have both USB and Bluetooth connections available. So to show you how the Bluetooth connection still works, I'm going to close the Arduino serial monitor, go back to tools, change the port, to the Bluetooth port and bring up the monitor again. And you can see that it worked. We are connected to the Bluetooth device now and I can still control the LED. 
Okay, but what if we'd like to get readings from the USB interface and from the Bluetooth interface at the same time? Well, to do that, we need to have two serial monitors or two consoles happening. What I'd like to show you next is how we can get data from both the USB module and the Bluetooth module at the same time using two different monitors. So on the Mac, probably the easiest thing to do is to configure the USB port for the Arduino serial monitor, just as per normal, like that. So this one is coming to us through the USB. And then for the Bluetooth to use the terminal and a little utility called screen that allow us to connect to serial devices. Just going to move my windows down here for a moment because I want to show you that in the, in the header of the example sketch, I've got information on how to use the screen utility on Mac OS and on Linux computers. And if you are using Windows, then an alternative that you can use is a utility, we should fix that little typo, called Patty that allows you to do the exact same thing. And with Patty, you can also have as many serial monitors as you like. So if you are using Windows, then I recommend that you have a look at Patty. But I'm going to do the demonstration using uh, the screen utility. So it's very simple. Screen comes with Mac OS and with Linux. So what you got to do is to type in the name of the utility and then see if you can find the USB module to which you, can, you want to connect. You also need to specify the speed of the connection. So that is 9,600 boards. And then hit enter to connect. There you go, the readings are coming through the USB interface. While I'm connected through screen, I can also type in my command. So H, for example, and the LED goes on. Any other letter, the LED goes off. Lowercase H doesn't work. It's got to be a capital. So as you can see, now we've got both USB and Bluetooth module uh, operating at the same time. And on the computer, I can access both interfaces simultaneously. So in this lecture, you learned about how to use the simple low cost HC06 Bluetooth breakout that allows you to implement some pretty basic Bluetooth applications. In the next few lectures, I'm going to talk about BLE or Bluetooth low energy, the differences between BLE and the standard Bluetooth technology, and of course, how you can use it with your Arduino. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, check out my Arduino step-by-step -step getting started and Arduino step-by-step -step getting serious courses on the Tech Explorations School. There, I help you develop basic and more advanced Arduino skills, including how to write your own programs, how to use all sorts of sensors and actuators, and how to create your own gadgets. You may also be interested in my project courses, where you get deep into the development of wheeled robots, remote-controlled cars, and drones. Please use the coupon code in the description below this video to get a YouTube-exclusive discount to my courses. See you there.